There may be times when you need to send a customer a gift card, so here's how to do that. On the left hand side, we're going to click into products and then we're going to click gift cards. And then to create a gift card or issue a gift card to a person, we're going to hit this create gift card in the top right corner. It will auto generate a gift card code. You can edit that if you want to, and then you'll put the value. So let's say I want to make it $20 and you can have no expiration date or you want to set a date. Now I never had an expiration date on any of the gift cards I've ever sent and just make sure that you are working within the laws of your country. You don't want to be breaking any laws. When you click in this box up here with customer it will pop up with a bunch of customers. Now I don't want to share their information so I'm leaving that hidden. You are able to type in a name if someone is not already a customer on your website. I'm just going to type in my name and I have created a profile for myself earlier but if there wasn't one and I hit enter so you'll say create a new customer but when I type mine in my profile does pop up so I'll click my name to use for this example so right now I'm gonna send myself a $20 gift card and I'm able to send the gift card now so basically immediately when I hit save and I'm able to preview the email so here it is to me from my business and it's saying the subject will be cross stitching supplies $20 gift card here's a $20 gift card use the gift card online and it has the code, visit store, or check gift card balance. So I can send it now if I hit save, which I'm just gonna do that. So it's saying down below, gift card was sent to my email, and it's saying it's a $20 one. Now if I hadn't immediately sent it, I would go up in this top right corner and hit send gift card. And let's say I made an error, I can just deactivate it. One thing you do wanna note is that if you want to keep this code somewhere, let's say you know you need to refer back to it, make sure you do save it somewhere because once you leave this page, it will only show you the last four digits of it. And that's where it's saying here, send gift card or copy the code. The code won't show again after you leave this page. I believe they mainly do that. So if someone hacked into your site, they wouldn't see it or if someone on your own team would maybe go through and steal the gift card numbers you know and use them then it just kind of eliminates that as any a possibility so let's just say i wanted to hit send gift card again it will just pop up again and i can hit send email and then do i make one little note it says edit this template in notification so let's say you wanted to edit it and we click this it shows the preview and then you would have to edit the code of this email so for most of us that would be a little too complicated but i just want to let you know that it is an option and I'm just gonna hit cancel because we already sent the email and I'm actually gonna show what the email looks like in my actual email. So I've gone into my Gmail and here it is. So this is what the email would look like that your customer is getting unless you do go edit it. And reasons why you may have to issue a gift card. So I had cases where someone had got the gift card delivered and then they had lost the email. So since I couldn't see their code again because Shopify hides most of it, I had deactivated their first gift card and then I had issued them a new one and I'd sent them the new one. Then other times maybe someone was a giveaway or something or some sort of sweepstakes or entered into something, you know, you might have to go in and give a specific person a gift card.